Hi there, Malcolm here with my first crossover video between my two interests. It's my 107th booktube video and my 18th video for Wormberg Games. Now, during the month of July, I've been doing a book challenge on Instagram. And me. Picking out games and books that match them. And then I get an extra book on top. Uh, the other day I did a smash up one where I tried to find books that went with every single faction in that game and the expansions I've got. I enjoyed it so much I thought I'd do a video for it. So no, no, here no. We... I thought we'd do a video of it. Fine. I'm going to bring the game in. We'll have that in front of us. <clears throat> Boom. Oh, I meant more the box actually with a bit of mobs in. What? I meant the box with all the cards in and we put a card out. Can we pull the cards out of you? Yeah. You know, the divider. Just pull the cards out. Is that going to really screw you up? But a moment or 17 to put them back in. So we're going to pick a card randomly out of this pack. I know he's beautifully organised them, but I don't know where they are. And then we're going to match the book to get with the card. Yeah? Yep, that's the idea. Simple. Haha, <laughs> in theory. Ready? Alright, go on then. Pull the first one out. Got elves. Elves. Book with elves in. Off we go. Oh, what's that thing for elves? Is it a magician? I think it was a magician, wasn't it? What did you get? I went for Lords and Ladies by Terry Pratchett, one of the Discworld novels, which is all about the elves. And I've got Magician by Remedy Feist. There are elves in this, so I've been told. Do you want to pick the next one? Okay. That's a random. Steampunks. Oh, that's easy. Yee! Me first, me first! <laughs> Bastards! What did you get? It's your turn then. I went for Bone Shaker by Jerry Priest. I'm steampunky. And I've got uh, the Steampunk Anthology. So a collection of steampunky short stories. I really like this. All right, your turn. Ninjas! Go on then. I can't do ninjas. I have nothing with ninjas in it. I'm ninjaless. So what did you get? Circle of Shadows by Evelyn Sky. They're very ninja-y in here, even though they're not actually named ninjas. That's just cheating. But they, they are ninjas. In all ninjas with everything but name. Yes, very much so. Very cool as well. Cheat. Ah. Mm. Shapeshifters. Mm -hmm. What the hell did I do for shapeshifters? Oh, yes. God, I can't remember. It's a bit tighter than I was expecting. Funny. Yeah. Appropriately, I went with The Thing, the movie novelization by Alan Dean Foster. Uh, I've got Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. Kagawa. Show off. And in here I have um, a Kitsumu. So the lead character is half human, half fox. Halflings! <laughs> oh, find it. Had to really. We both went for Lord, Lord of the Rings. Rings. Okay. Fairies. Oh, I like this one. You've just been trying to fight us. And I changed my mind what it was going to be. Oh, yes. I went for In Part by Cornelia Funk. Yeah. Got fairies in it. Glass fairies in particular. Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J Mass. Yeah, all about the fae. Zombies. Brains. Mm. Yeah, you tasty. Ah, zombies, what did I pick? Oh yeah, that one. I keep forgetting what book I picked. Look, just because you don't have to get up and down for yours. Why did you put them there so they can see them? <laughs> I can't remember what I picked for it as well. Yeah, I can't. I am Scrooge, a zombie story for Christmas by Adam Roberts. And uh, I've got Dread Nation. This is by Justine Island Civil Net Civil War America with zombies. Nice. Awesome stuff. Thieves. Thieves. <sighs> uh. I have Dodger by Terry Pratchett. And I've got Ronya the Robber's Daughter by Astrid Lindgren. Cyborg Apes. Ooh, I need that one. Seriously. 
Hell Island by Matthew Riley. If you read it, you'll know why I picked this one. I can't believe you've got a book with cyborg apes. <laughs> I can't believe. I mean, all the things. Dwarves. Oh, what was that one? Mm -hmm. I don't think I've got one, have I? No, I'm very certain I haven't got that one. I went for Men at Arms by Terry Pratchett, which has Lance Constable Cuddy, a dwarf, and Corporal Carrot, who's technically a dwarf. He's just on the tall side. Well, he's over six foot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's tall for a dwarf. I was going to have the borrowers, but they're little people. They're not dwarfs, so I have no dwarfs. That is bad. You have no dwarfs. I don't even have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I have no dwarfs. Pirates! Arg. <laughs> Alex Scarrow's The Pirate Kings, part of the Time Riders series. Awesome. I got Retribution Falls by Chris Wooding, first book in the Ketty J series. <laughs> Aliens! You can't get much more alien than Doctor Who. These ugly monsters on the front of the krill. No, not the ones that swim away. Yes, I can. Independence Day! Uh, you went for it. Yeah. You went for it. By Dean Devland, Ronan Emmerich and Stephen Molstead. Mages. What the hell did I do for mages? <laughs> I went for Skullduggery Pleasant by Dirk Landry. And I've gone for The Magician's Guild by Trudy Caban. Um, yeah, I know they say magicians, but they're wearing cloaks. That's, that's not hoods. So, um, that's not hats, even. <laughs> Minions of Cthulhu! <sighs> Meddling Kids by Edgar Cantero. Again, if you've read it, you know why. Shadows Over Baker Street, this is a short story collection um, with various twists on Sherlock Holmes. Definitely. Yep, yeah, brilliant stuff. Orcs! Oh crap, what did I pick? Oh. Them. Thank you, my too. Bodyguard of Lightning, which is the first book in the Orcs First Blood series by Stan Nichols. Obviously, the Orcs are the heroes in this one. An Orc on the Wild Side by Tom Holt. Got Orcs in it, amongst other stuff. Funny. Kitty Cats. Meow, tick, meow, meow, meow. What do you get? I got Doctor Who. Invasion of the Cat People by Gary Russell. Yes. Really? Yes. The Amazing Maroose and His Educated Rodents by Terry Pratchett. Warriors! What'd you get? I went for Star Wars, a Republic Commando, Hard Contact by Karen Travis. Lots of clone troopers doing their warrior stuff. And I went for something a little bit more, oh, well, out there. Legend of Podkin One Ear by Kieran Larwood. This is the first in five books now I think which follows Podkin who has one ear um, as he tries to go and save I think it's his clan possibly. It's been a long time since I've read this. Yeah he's a warrior. Giant ants. <laughs> what are your creepy crawlies then? The X-Files, Die, Bug, Die, it's the novelisation of the episode with all the cockroaches in it. They're not exactly giant, but there's a lot of them and they're central to the thing. So, this the thing. Don't just the thing. I've got Doctor Two, The Longest Day by Michael Collier. Uh, as far as I can remember, these are giant spiders, so slightly away from ants, but they're pretty damn big. Insects of unusual size. It's definitely insects of unusual size. Except they're not insects either. No, they're all right, kids. Tricksters! Oh look! Boom! What'd you get? Go then, you go first. Oh, me first, okay. I have got Loki, Where Mischief Lies. This is by Mackenzie Lee, and this is a tie-in book in the Marvel Universe, starring trickster Loki. Mm, good one. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I went for The Many Coloured Land by Julian May, book one of the Saga of the Exiles quadrilogy. And Aiken Drum is very much a trickster. Robots. Ah. Oh. 
Me go. Am I going first? No. Right, I have picked A Closed and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers, book two in her Wayfarers series, universe as it were. Um, I'm cheating slightly because the robot in here is actually not a robot, she's an AI. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I went for The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Marvin the Paranoid Android, who's a depressed robot with pain in his eyes all down the left side. That must really hurt. Mythic horses! Nay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done before you. I went for the novelization of A Cabin in the Woods by Tim Leban. Seriously? A horror film? It's got a unicorn in it and it stabs someone with its horn. There's an innuendo there and I'm not going there. Go wash your brain. <laughs> I've got The Fabled Beast Chronicles, this is the first book, First Aid for Fairies, another Fabled Beast by Larry Don, and in here we have a centaur. Mad scientists! Ha ha ha! God, we need better chairs. Mr. We Mike. get chairs that go all the way down to the bottom as well, okay. Oh, right. Well, mine touched the floor. I've gone for a Back to the Future movie novelization by George Guype. Great Doc. Scott! Great Scott, exactly. And I've gone for Skullduggery Pleasant Mortal Coil by Derek Landy, and this has got nigh mm. in it, and ugh. So <laughs> <laughs> my go. Mm -hmm. Bear Cavalry. Best I could go for was Beyond the Deep Woods by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddle. It has a band of bear, and Twig, the hero, rides it for a bit. See, if I still have my copy of Northern Lights by Philip Pullman, I mean, that's a pretty damn awesome bear. That would be a good one. That would read it. But unfortunately, I don't. So I picked up uh, Just One Damn Thing After Another by Jodie Taylor, book one in the St. Mary's Chronicles. In here, there is a very special teddy that belongs to Max. Not quite the cavalry, but those of you who've read it will understand. I can use that line too. Clerics. <laughs> okay, I went for The Toll by Neil Schusterman. He's read it and said it was a good choice. I haven't read Scythe yet, so obviously I can't read this one yet. Yeah, that counts. That's a good one. I went for um, Small Gods by Terry Pratchett, part of the Discord series. Yeah, all about organised religion. That's the one with the little tortoise, isn't it? Yes. Yes. The great and powerful god Om. He's like that big. He has one follower. That's it. He's got so he's a tortoise. Yeah. Wizards! Earth Dispelled by Terry Pratchett. This one is equal rights about wizards and a girl who wants to be a wizard. It's the plumbing that's the problem. Well, that's the excuse anyway. They just don't have enough toilets. I got Shadow Black by Sebastian de Castell. This is book two in the Spellslinger series. This is the only book actually we have in the series. And our lead character in here can do some pretty nifty magic. Next up. Vampires. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you go for? Another Discworld. It covers, it covers everything. It does, it covers everything. Carpe Jugulum, lots of vampires in it. But they're the main threat. Vampires you are. And I've picked The Beautiful by René Adair. This is like a proper classic period vampire romance with a twist. Nice. And it's gorgeous. Swine, that's not even a thing. How's that my fault? That's your fault. Aha! Uh -huh. Princess! Okay, I have gone for A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. Two sisters that are princesses still have to kill each other to get the throne. Yes, it's cool. I went for Star Wars The Courtship of Princess Leia by Dave Wolverton. Obviously it's got princess in the cover and it's got Princess Leia in it. So, yay, princess. Geeks. Hi. That's us. And Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. About as geeky as you can get. So much reference. So much 
so much. Oh god, that's heavy. Right, um, I've got Doctor Who Endgame. This is a graphic novel collected from Doctor Who magazine. And Izzy, this lovely girl here, she's a geek and proud. Kill our plants! Feed me. Go on. I have gone for slightly cheating, Girl Serpent Thorn. Can't tell you why, but it's kind of obvious when you've read this. Day of the Triffids by John Wyndham. Need yeah. I say more? No. This is not my books. Ah. Dinosaurs. Good. Oh. That's more zombies out here, isn't it? <laughs> Jurassic Park. Michael Crichton. Yay! Might have a dinosaur or two in it. Doctor Who, New Adventures, Birthright by Jim Mortimer. Alternative timeline. Humans didn't evolve first. Super spines. I'm looking my cards out. I'm not. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Bond, James Bond, Casino Royale by Ian Fleming. Hey, it's another Doctor Who book. This is Demontage by Justin Richards and the Doctor's companion Fitz actually starts sort of impersonating James Bond in this and then gets mistaken for an assassin. So, much kudos. James Bond is an assassin. No, he's not. He's a spy. He assassinates people. He's a spy. He's not an assassin. An assassin goes around killing for a living. Spies do... He's got a license to kill. He kills loads of people. Answers down below. Is James Bond a spy or an assassin? He's a better assassin than he is a spy. <laughs> that That's much. true. Yeah. He don't miss. <laughs> time travellers. I wonder if you've got anything time travel related. Um, let me see. I'll tell you what your Doctor Who choice is. Um, Tales of Time City by Diana Wynne Jones. Damn. <laughs> War and Peace, Who Goes Here by Bob Shaw. It's a time travelling toilet. Flush. Two left. So I've gone for werewolves. Oh, uh, woo. Mm. What have you got? I have another dispel by Tay Patchett. The fifth elephant. They go to Uberwald, where Angua gets to meet up with her family, and they're all werewolves. I've got another Fable Beast Chronicles. This is Wolf Notes and Other Musical Mishaps by Larry John. As it might suggest, wolves. Ah, uh, woo. And finally. What could it possibly be? Ghosts. <laughs> I've gone for The Ghosts of Sleeth by James Herbert. And it's got ghosts in it. And I've gone for Platform 7 by Louise Doherty. I've just been given this by a friend. And it's got a ghost story with a twist. So there we go. That was our smash up scavenger hunt. Hey! What's wrong with you? <laughs> That was easy to say. That came out first time. No problems whatsoever. Oh, yeah. No, no editing there needed at all. No, no, not at all. No, not at all. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. We're going to have ages putting all these books back again. We like doing that, though. We, we do like doing that. We're geeks like that. So if you want to have a go at that, then please go for it. I'll leave a list of the faction prompts down below so you can have a go at those. Um, I haven't got all the expansions. I've got a lot of them. So if you've got more than I have or some ones I haven't got, that'll be really interesting. But if and when you do one... Leave a link and I'll go and check it out. That'd be nice. Yeah. Yep. Um, same. Same. And if you want to see more of this sort of thing, then let me know. Uh, and otherwise, if you have nothing nice to say, then please keep it to yourself. Thank you. Please go check out Sabrina's channel. Thank you for joining me today. You're very welcome. See you later. Bye. I went for the nav no the novelism. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's like spittle from my head. <laughs> Okay, serious. <laughs> okay. Oh, <dear. laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're sniggering. Stop sniggering. Oh dear. <laughs> Yeah, go cool. on.
I went for the novelisation of A Cabin in the Woods by Tim Leban. Seriously? A horror film? Yeah, well, it's got a new... It's, new, it's got a new... <laughs> There's got people you can talk to. <laughs> oh look, all the cards are gone. All the cards are gone, yes. I'm going to take ages putting those all back again. You love doing Thanks that sort of thing. Well, there we go. That was my smash up. Well, our, that was our smash up uh, scrap heap challenge. No, no, it's not scrap heap challenge, was it? Scavenger. Scavenger hunt. Not scrap heap challenge. <laughs> no, that's something completely it's different. It's so difficult. I don't know why. <laughs> So there we go, that was our smash up scrap heap challenge. No. Damn it! <laughs> Where does scrap heap challenge come from? The Tally Channel 4 on Sunday nights. Yeah, but he's not here. I know, gone. Oh. So there we go, that was our smash heap. It's getting worse! How did it get any worse? Smash up. Scrap heap challenge. No! no. Scrap, <laughs> scrap up. No. Smash heap. Smash up. Smash up. Smash up. Scavenger. Hunt, challenge. Hunt. Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Say it with me now. <laughs> smash up. Scavenger. Hunt. Smash up. Scavenger. Hunt. There you go. Ah. So there we go. That was our smash up. Scavenge. Scrap. Scavenge. <laughs> What the hell is a scrap heap? <laughs> Stop laughing at me. <laughs> it's meaning and debasing. No, it's just funny. Mm, oh. Figure of fun. There, no, go on, carry on. So there we go, that was our smash up scrap heap. Damn it! <laughs> Not scrap, scrap, scavenger hunt. Scavenger. Scav scavenger. Yeah, go on.